You don't need to be a genius to figure out what the supermarkets are selling you and whether they're good or bad for you. Let's talk about it. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here for a quick uh, May 2020 supermarket and retail chat. Today it's going to be mostly about supermarkets, pretty much all about supermarkets. Um, this isn't like time relevant really, but you, you got to look at your supermarket flyers. If you want to know what the world is, is eating and what sells, just look at the supermarket flyers. We have a million of these flyers, you know, Bishops, ShopRite, uh, Kings, and there's a million others, Stop and Shop and, and all these other supermarkets. Just look at what they're selling. If you add it up, all the things they sell, I would say, you know, other than the non-produce uh, products, you know, like paper towels or stupid makeup or lotions, about 90% of the things they peddle to you are unhealthy. And that is, uh, there's junk food, there's chips, there's ice cream, there's all sorts of crap. You know, they have to obviously put in things that uh, everybody eats, like eggs and meat and so on. But when you look at the flyers, like over and over again, you realize that you know, there's juice. Like they, they, some of, the, I've mentioned this in the past, that some of the, the, the worst things for you often go on sale or whatever at the lowest possible price, like cookies and, and ju like juices. Juices are the worst. I don't know if you have children or not, but you really ought to see what happens to, to kids. Look, read Sugar Blues. Kids become maniacal. They become like, like almost unable to contain themselves when they eat sugar. There's ruffles, there's potato chips, there's all sorts of crappy junk. There's so much junk. 90% of what the supermarkets are selling is junk. And I, I, I'm not blaming the supermarkets per se. They sell what makes them money and that's what any smart business would do. But just, just look at your flyer and then put an X mark on anything that's not low carb or anything that doesn't make you really ridiculously fat or, or unhealthy or sick or tired or bloated. That's it. And uh, my next video is going to be about actual bloating and, and inflammation. So if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe. That would help us out a lot. I really, I'm struggling here to try and figure out how to work this system. And I think we have good, good basic concepts. And yeah, I'm not jumping around and all that other nonsense like other people on their TikTok videos. But maybe one day I'm gonna to have to make my videos more interesting than just simple ideas and conversation. See you next video.